Why are you choosing to see only one side of the story? You see terrorists wave goodbye to the hostages. But those same terrorists murdered their loved ones and violently kidnapped them from their homes. You see terrorists help them into the Red Cross van, but those same terrorists are responsible for their limping and malnourishment. You see terrorists cooperate in releasing hostages, but those same terrorists force their captives to wave and smile at gunpoint. Under the watch of Hamas terrorists, this was the inhumane and unjustifiable reality for over 240 hostages. For over 50 days, innocent women, children, men, the elderly and Holocaust survivors lived in painful uncertainty. On November 24th, following the tactical pause and framework of the hostage release, a small portion of the hostages came home. Unfortunately, many of the hostages were torn from their family members, who still remain in Hamas's captivity. Others were informed upon their return that their loved ones had been murdered. With every hostage released, we are only reminded of those who remain behind. We won't rest until they're all back. We won't stop until our people are safe.